Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and we are living in the reality where they are labeling heterosexuality as a crime. And no, I'm not making that up. We have this piece of endwokeness exclusive. The Department of Veterans Affairs just banned the BJ Day Kiss Photo for all of the department facilities. To promote a culture of inclusivity and awareness, your cooperation is vital. Nothing says inclusivity that spitting on and hating the ones who are actually giving their lives for your fucking stupid wars. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> We are living in such a, such a laughable society. They want to turn everyone in hom to homosexuality. They want that kind of degeneracy for everyone. Normalizing this behavior. So you have this one from Riemann O. Nielsen. Assistant under Secretary for Health for Operations. Held, you know who it is. <laughs> oh man! So, as I'm recording, yeah, I know the decision that had been backtracked. Well, let's see who, by, by who. By the Dubai Lash Band has been overruled by Veterans Affairs Secretary Dennis McDonough. And you have these two tweets. One is this. Le Let me be clear. This image is not banned from BAI facilities. And we will keep it in BAI facilities. So you have this article. BAI reverse plans to ban iconic World War II kiss. Photo from medical sites. Veteran Affairs Secretary Dennis Mac McDonough is overruling plans to ban the infamous Times Square Peace Forum marking the end of World War II from all department healthcare facilities. A move criticized as a political correctness run amok. Wokeness because they despise heterosexuality. They hate it and they want to force everyone into turning in gay or truny and chopping up their dicks or their breasts, depending on your biological sexuality is. I just want to say that. The ban was announced internally at VA faci medical facilities late last month in a memo from Riemann Nielsen, the Veterans Health Administration top operations official. Employees were instructed to promptly remove any depictions of the famous photo and replace it with imagery deemed more appropriate. I watch hentai. I can tell you things that are not suitable to put it, to be here. And honestly, this one is just art in the most simplest and tamest way, so to speak. I know I'm not making any sense right now. Well, imagine being so offended and calling extremists. Oh, man. If only if you... At this point, even you don't, you don't even have to dig so much on Twitter. You can clearly find fucking furries with the diaper fetish bragging about it. I'm not making that up. It's, it's true. Sadly, it is true. <sighs> the photograph which depicts a non-consensual act. I mean, look at her arm. She's not. She's not shocked or offended by that. It's funny how in the past actually showing this kind of affections, they are just one step ahead of being thrown into prison for struggle snuggling. Even though, yeah, it's consensual. Or is to be more freedom in older society but well that's what happens when you radicalize everything 
So yeah, that's pretty much everything we, I need to cover here. So imagine, this forum, they want to call it controversial, by fucking retards who hate heterosexuality. They hate the nation and the people that actually give in their lives. That's why I say never sacrifice for a country that hates you. Don't go to the military. Don't go to the navy. Let them fucking rot. You will be more safe being thrown into prison and being maintained with taxpayer money than getting blown up by the Tali dudes, the terror dudes, or in a Ukrainian proxy war. But that's pretty much everything I needed to cover here. Everyone who watched this video, I hope you have a pretty good day.